In Chester County, Tower Health officials say they're losing some EMS services come September. And this comes months after they closed two hospitals in the county. So what are people living there supposed to do and how are they making any plans to fix this to make sure this doesn't happen, Shana? Yeah, that's exactly the question at this point. So many people worried about if the worst happens, are they going to be able to get life saving help? We were here just a few short months ago, standing in this very spot, talking about this hospital now, pretty darkened out and pretty dead looking. Uh, essentially, now we're talking about EMS services being lost to this area. The medical group said in a statement that they're consolidating Medic 93 EMS from four locations down to two in September. The new locations will focus only on a service area around Reading, Northern Chester, Montgomery and uh, the 422 corridor as well. Now this change does mean that Tower Direct will no longer work out of three units in Western Chester County that provide that advanced life support that so many people rely on across 10 different municipalities. The Chester County EMS Council uh, did also mention that this, that this decision essentially leaves municipalities like Coatesville in a scramble to find a new agency in 90 days and it's just something that this area can't afford. This is a poor area. Coatesville is poor. It used to be a thriving city when Luke and Steele and everything was here. They all left and everything, and it just went down. And like I said, these people, they can't afford things around here. And if they have major problems, like we're an, a heart attack, where are you going to take them? Closest place you can go is either Paoli or Chester County Hospital. If you have a major heart attack, chances of you making it, yeah, flip a coin. Scary times. You got to flip a coin and see if you will survive something like that. God forbid if it's a stroke or a heart attack. We know minutes and seconds really count when it comes down to making sure you can get into an ambulance and get to the nearest hospital to get that life saving treatment. And that's the question uh, that remains for this area. And unfortunately, when they figure it out, until they figure it out, multiple municipalities will be coming in when someone calls 911 in this area. And that is what the problem is at this point, because the services here are already stretched as it is. Guys. Yeah.